the views and opinions expressed by Pete Motsley and Poophead of the Week do not represent the views of the staff and DJs of 89X, WLNX FM. To the person who used to have Mr. Motsley's current cell phone number, if you're listening right now, you owe the Decatur Herald and Review and the Ghost of Marvin Gaye 200 soft shell tacos. In the early days of the Brooklyn Dodgers, many sports writers and baseball fans used many different nicknames to describe the team. Atlantics, Grays, Grooms, Bridegrooms, Superbaz, Robins, Brums, etc. The name Dodgers was the one that stuck the most with the team because in the late 1800s, Brooklyn natives were called Trolley Dodgers because Brooklyn was bordered by many major networks of streetcar tracks that would crisscross one another. Leon Fergatch wrote in his Los Angeles Times column on Tuesday that this backstory as to how the Dodgers got their name means nothing to Los Angeles, and seeing how ownership of the team could change pending the divorce settlement between team owner Frank McCourt and his wife Jamie, Fergatch wrote that maybe the name of the team should change to the Yang Nas. The who? The Yang Nas. Y-A-N-G-N-A-S. Wang Chung? The Yang Nas, according to Fergatch's column, were an Indian tribe who settled on Chavez Ravine in 1781, the current home of Dodger Stadium, after a group of Mexican pobladors, or townspeople, founded the city of L.A. Apparently then-team owner Walter O'Malley didn't know the historical significance of Chavez Ravine, to which Fergatch admitted that most Los Angeles residents didn't know about it either, unless they went to school before 1950. Walter O'Malley was born in the Bronx, unless die-hard Brooklyn Dodger fans had wanted to take a rare flight some 2,700 miles out west to gamble an Indian reservation in the Rockies, I'm sure that they could have cared less about the Cisco Kid, Lone Ranger, or Tano while they were looking to throw steak knives at Walter O'Malley. Sure, O'Malley would have jumped at the idea of calling the Dodgers the Yang Nas, with a body metallic taste of those pine nuts, he would have jumped on a plane and moved the team back to Brooklyn, all because Indians replaced the hors d'oeuvres at his cocktail parties with bitter ancient Chinese tree stump. I don't hear you complaining about the Lakers. They inherited their name from Minneapolis, and I know they don't call California the land of 10,000 lakes. It's more like the land of 10,000 quakes. Before the Clippers moved to San Diego, before moving once more to L.A., they were called the Buffalo Braves. What the hell is a clipper? A badly paid film editor from MGM Studios? Or a dolphin that can cut hair? Where were you in 1984? Dancing with wolves? The backlash from Native Americans about their likeness being used as names for sports teams diminished some 15 years ago. I know it's April Fool's Day, but please, you're no fan if you want to tarnish the great tradition of the Dodgers by giving them a name that sounds like Yankees with a speech impediment. Don Drysdale is face-palming right now. Los Angeles Times columnist Leon, chief running mouth full of bull, Fergatch, poophead of the week.